What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. What I have for you guys today is my automatic spider string farm. Uh, you guys may remember this from my Infiniverse. It is my third, second or third best video of all time. I literally have gotten over 100 requests to do the actual tutorial. So I'm finally going to, I wanted to make sure it works still and it works, it works fine. There's a lot of people saying it doesn't work, it, it works fine. Um, I'm going to show you some shortcuts if you don't want to use all the items. It's not cost effective. I promise you that. There is a lot of hoppers and hopper minecarts in it. So if it's, if it's too much for you, totally understand. Uh, we could take some shortcuts, but um, I like it. I love I, you, I'll Again, I'll leave the link to the episode so you guys can kind of see it in action. I'm not going to demo it now. Let's just get right into it and see what you need. Okay. Uh, obviously, you don't need the spawner, but you need to find a spawner, and the spawner is going to be one off the ground, okay? Or it, it'll end up being three off the ground, but this is going to be your ground, your main ground right here, okay? So that's what that's what we're walking on, and then you're actually going to step into it. So you want to position your, uh, your spawner like this, right? And then you're actually going to go three down. So that's one, two, three, okay? And then you're going to come out from that another four so one two three four sorry five five like that okay so one two three four five again find that center one two three four five oops and one more one two three four five now what pick whichever one you want to be your front so i'm going to make this one right here my front okay and let me just double check something one two three four five yeah it's the, it's the one in front of that so your chest will actually go right here so again you're gonna break this is the front so I'm gonna break another two down like so I'm just going to uh, to put that like that and then put that there okay so you, these are the blocks you're gonna need by the way I'm oh, sorry these are the blocks you're gonna need you're gonna need two chests you're going to need a bunch of different blocks. So I'm just going to take two full stacks of smooth stone, a stack of polished andesite. You do not need... You, first of all, you will be getting all of these back. The rails and the buttons and the pistons. You don't need 17 of each. You can just do one. It's just going to take you a lot longer. So if you happen to have 17 and 17 and... You only need like 12 or something for buttons. But just, just take as much as you can because you're going to be getting all three of those back. So again, so 17 rails. You are going to need... 17 mine carts with hoppers. I'll, I'll explain as we go. You don't need it 100% if you don't have that, but it definitely helps a lot for efficiency. Uh, some buttons. I'm going to take a stack of smooth stone slabs, a stack of polished andesite. Again, you do whatever you want. The pistons, like I said, you'll get back. Uh, take some junk blocks. I'm going to take just some dirt. 64 polished diorite stairs. You're not going to need all of that, but uh, you will have a lot of leftovers for the blocks, but I always say just take a stack with you. Um, I'm going to have the red and black concrete. I think you only need 18 for the red, but I'm going to take 20, 14 for the black, 20 of the glass, 20 for the iron trap doors, 17 for the magma blocks. You need about 45 hoppers, I believe. If it's more or less, I'll add it uh, underneath in a little footnote. And uh, that's that. Okay, let's just take this for now. And let's take our chest. And I believe I used the smooth stone. Okay, so this right here is where our chest is going to go. Cool. Now, everything is basically going to lead into that. Uh, but before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to match up the ends right here. Okay, we're, we're just going to match them up. So, this right here is what I'm talking about. This is one of the ends. So, we're just basically going to go diagonal, right? So, if we have two blocks like that, then we're going to go two there, two there, two there. Two there and two there. You'll do it right if you know you did it right if they matched up. Okay, then we're going to clear out all of this two rows deep here. And we're going to do the same thing on all the sides. Okay, I'll just do this last one with you. Whoops. And then we could put one there because obviously the hopper is going to go underneath. Although I do, you know what, we'll do all of that when we get there. All right, and then you just clear this out. Like so. Put that one down. And I'm going to do the other side and I'll catch right back up with you guys. Okay, so now that that's done, 
Now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to do our hoppers. But first, you know, I like to do this. I'm just going to do it this way. I don't remember if we get rid of that right now, so we'll just put that there for now. Okay, and then we're just going to run a line of hoppers going all the way across. Uh, now, again, you could do some kind of minecart underneath on a track. I just happen to like to use hoppers. If, if you guys have ever watched my Infiniverse uh, series or even my tutorials, I'm like a hopper fiend. Because, one, this provides like extra storage for you as well. Uh, but, two, I just, I just like hoppers. I think they're efficient. I've never really had an issue with uh, with lag. Okay. And I assume if you're using this where a spawner is, it's not going to be super close to your base unless you happen to get lucky or build a base around it. So you'll have to, you know, kind of go away and then go AFK on it. There we go. Now just make sure everything feeds into that main line. Just, you know, you just want to hold, you just want to hold crouch when you do that to place them. Okay, so now we got that. Then we're just going to come in here. Not around the edges, around the inside one. So, oh shoot. So right this way. Okay, you're going to come in with it. Just like so. And then also the ones in the middle. You're going to come in with it. Just like so. And the reason is we're going to put the mine carts with hoppers. And the, um, the magma blocks right there. Okay, so we're going to take some grass. You could probably, you guys could probably take some junk blocks as well right now. Because uh, essentially what we're going to do is right above here, we have to do glass. So we're going to do glass like that. So if you want to just come in here, put your junk blocks down. And then do glass on top of all of them. You can do that. I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I forgot to tell you is either you can leave a space open. Or just have something that you can kind of hop on to get in here. Because you are going to be working in there. But then you're also going to need a way out. So it's probably best to just leave like one of them open for now. Okay, so just keep that in mind because you are going to need a way in and out. Uh, and also, I you, you would have wanted to uh, shut this off with a torch. I'll, I'll add a footnote in the beginning. Hopefully you guys see that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our red and black and just alternate. All right, so I'm just going to go really quick with this one. Just around like so. And like this. You guys know I like fun farms. It's not super efficient. You can go to, I mean, it's not like the fast, it's fit, It's efficient. What I mean is it's not the fastest ever. You can go check out like Il Mango or something like that if you want super duper fast. I, I like the things to look cool and, and function at the same time. Okay. Now we're just going to put stairs on top. So what you want to do is when you come to a point, see the points right here? You want to do three like that. Okay. And then this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you also want to do, sorry, four. And then one this way, like that. Like that. And like that. Okay, then you want to come behind it. And you want to do the same thing. Okay, just match them up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so now that that's done with them on top, what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to come in here, take my polished andesite, the uh, slabs, place them on top. Okay, like so. Oops. Okay, and this is just for uh, like a design feature. This has nothing to do with, you know, uh, getting them to spawn or anything like that. You just want to make sure it's closed off at the top. So then you're going to come in with your, whatever blocks you ha you want. I have the uh, the polished andesite, the regular blocks. Okay, and then you're just going to come inside. Okay, and basically the way it would work, that caps it off, but this would be your roof up here. So, okay, so that is your roof, and if you, you know, that way it has a nice little design uh, to the outside of it. Okay, so that's your roof. Now, if you're inside your base um, and you got rid of your torches, they should start spawning. Because what you would want to do... Your lights could be out here. I didn't put any lights, but let's say you wanted to light it up. Obviously, you wouldn't light it up in here. It'd be a little too close. So you can even just start putting your lights uh, this close, like right out here, and uh, and you would be fine. Okay, just anywhere inside here, I'd stay away from. Although I think in mine, I put mine here. You guys will see if you watch the video. So you might be okay. 
All right. So let's just keep going. So now that we got kind of everything done on the ins, uh, you know, in terms of building it, what we want to do is go inside. And now we're going to do these blocks right here that I was talking about. So we're just going to build a, a little temporary thing right there. Uh, actually, should we do it there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So what we'll do is we'll do, we'll take our pistons, stand inside, and you'll look up. And on the colored blocks, you can just put it facing down. Just like so. Again, if you want to do it one at a time, totally fine. Um, but like I said, if you happen to have like a little half a stack or so, 17 of these just lying around, you are going to get each and every one of them back along with the buttons. Okay. Cool. And then all I do is I just come right over it. I just right click. All right. And I put the dirt here. Okay. Just like that. Right on top of those hoppers. Kind of come back up. We're going to take our rails. And these you probably want to do one at a time. I think they kind of mess up when you don't. So what you want to do is just, you can put these down, but don't do the hot, don't do the, uh, don't do the mine carts yet. Do them one at a time. So you can put those down. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hopper, break it. I mean, put your mine cart, break it, mine cart, break it, mine cart, break it. Make sure they have hoppers, not regular mine carts, please. I've had that issue before where people forgot that they needed the hoppers, the mine cart hoppers, and they're telling me in the comment section, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then, you know, after talking back and forth with them, uh, they realized it is uh, hoppers that they're missing. So just keep that in mind. I've done that too. Okay, it looks good. Might be easier to just do it like this. I mean, usually I do it higher, but I figured uh, I'd, I'd save you guys a step. So let's just break that real quick. No harm, no foul. Okay, then you're going to push the button. So get a button. The best thing is this one right here will do those. Push that down. Boom, those are done. So you can get rid of those three. Okay, you do these two, right? You push it, wait for it to pop back up, put some dirt, boom, those are done. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way around until all of them are pushed down, okay? So that should all be done. Uh, now, wherever that spot was that you had, just jump out. You might get a little uh, burned for a second. No big deal, no harm, no foul. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to come in here. Actually, we'll keep that one on. We'll get rid of that. And then we're going to put down our iron trap doors. Uh, but before we do that, what we have to do, see how we have this dug out too? We're going to come all the way around. We're going to dig out two. Um, but then we're going to actually go down again so we can put the ground. But we can do that afterwards. Okay. So dig out two. Like that. Like that. And then the easiest way to do it is just to kind of trace it around. So you go this way. See how I'm like digging it out? Right? And then you uh, come back come back again. Oh, digging it out that way. Sorry. And then you come back like that. Okay, because essentially you want three wide here. See how it's like one, two, and then three? So we'll do it again. So we'll come in with the trace this way. Okay, then do it again. Oops, not there, sorry. I'll just put something temporary there. And then we'll just kind of go through like that. So I'm just gonna finish that up real quick, okay? So now that that's done, we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna take, where is it? Do I not have these? No, I didn't. Okay, so we need the polished andesite stairs um, as well. That is one thing I forgot. Okay, and you should have, see how it's three? So what you're gonna do is come out like that and you're gonna go out to the fourth one. And then you're just gonna kinda of come all the way around with it and you're just gonna walk it all the way, okay? Now what you wanna do is just make sure the floor is, here we go. The floor is whatever style you want. So I'm just gonna come in here, okay? I'm gonna do the floor. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of a design if you, if you happen to like this design. If not, feel free to do your own. But we're just going to do a little bit of a design with those red and black blocks. I believe when I did the video, the initial one, 
I said something like um, like a Harley Quinn kind of homage, like a design, like a Harley Quinn design, I believe. So those are, that's where that's where I chose the uh, the black and red, the the color palette, and also it goes with the the eyes of the um, spider. Okay, so now all you're gonna do, I believe I did, yeah, perfect. So black on this side. So see where your chest is, and these two blacks right here. You're gonna do black, then red. Come all the way across, black, then red, black, red. You guessed it black and red now what we're going to do is see the angle so we're going to go one two three that middle one come up and do red there so one two three come up and do red there red there and red there now where i'm putting this red you may want to put a light like a whatever a glowstone a lamp something uh, if you do do the lamp make sure the like if this is a lamp Make sure that the, uh, the, the, whatever, the redstone torch or the thing goes here because you don't want to accidentally lock any of those hoppers. That would be very, very bad. Okay, so that is the whole design. Now, we're going to come in here. I forgot. We have to put these on. Trap doors. Okay. Uh, this will work for cave spiders with an alteration. So right now where we're putting the trap doors... You want to put, um, you want to put slabs. Okay, you make sure you put slabs, and then on top of this right here, on top of the magma blocks, you would put trap doors. I'd say just put wooden ones. But the thing with the cave spiders is you're going to get a lot more skeleton spawning, because as you can see from where's the other one, as you can see from this one, was not that many skeletons. I mean, not even enough to make a half a stack. Uh, with cave spiders, you're going to get a lot more spawn. Plus, it's going to get stuck. So I really don't suggest this. It's not It's not the most efficient design for a cave spider farm. It's super efficient, especially if you decided to put the mine carts in here. Because you don't need the whole hopper mine carts process. Because a lot of times what happens is when they die, their items will shoot off in the middle. But the reason the hopper mine carts are here is because they'll also occasionally still be up here. So unless you're going to stand here and run around continuously collecting it, you know, it's, it's silly. That's why it's going to be in fully automatic. Once it's set, it's set. So let's test out this bad boy. Okay, I already got a spider in that one. I already have this here. Actually, what I'll do is I'll get rid of those strings so you can see. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll have everything set up. Okay, so that is, uh, that is it. So now what we're going to do is just stand in here. So again, you want this in a room. If you watch the video that, I, that I'm going to link, you guys will see how I have this set up. Essentially, you want this to be a room. You want there to be ample lighting so there's no mobs like I have out here that are going to kill you because you want to be able to just stand here and go AFK. So it's the way I did it, I thought was really, really good. Um, I've never had an issue with mobs coming in. You can add a door. So basically, this whole thing just becomes a room. Okay? So you stand here, and you'll see. So we had none, right? Let's see. Yeah, so there's none in that spot. Okay, so you stand here. As you can see, they die. Now, keep in mind, I'm in creative, so they're not attacking me. But if you are not in creative, they'll actually stand here. And they cannot get you. They will not get you. Only thing that will hit you is the um, skeletons. So let's see. A couple things died. Here we go. We already got two string. And you can also hit them. You can also get XP from this farm uh, very easily. Very, very easily you'll get that XP. So you just stand here and XP will come. So it's pretty, it's pretty efficient. It's pretty efficient. I like it. All right, guys. So I'm sorry it took so long to get it out to you. For those of you that are still interested, uh, if you're not, there's a lot of other videos on my channel. If you want a more efficient one, like I said, there are, I think, I believe I have at least one other uh, spider farm on my channel. But there's also, there's a million, million amazing uh, YouTubers out there who make tutorials, who do spider farms. All right. This is just my take. And I, I think it's, it's my, one of my top designs that I've ever done for myself. I love it. All right. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.